Now, European Union lawmakers have approved the next team of commissioners who will steer the bloc's departments for the next five years. Members of the European Parliament voted on the 26 candidates proposed by national governments. The result is being called the most right-leaning executive in the EU's history. The new team will be led by Commission President Ursula von der Leyen, who kept her post for a second term. Our correspondent Lucia Schulten joins us from the European Parliament building in Strasbourg. Welcome, Lucia. I said Parliament approved all 26, but I understand there were problems even getting to that stage. Yes, it was quite a bumpy road, you can say. So uh, the reason for that is that the European Parliament does not only approve them, but they also look and they vet every single candidate before they go to this vote today. So, and when they were doing this vetting, there was one candidate which was in particular very contested, and this is the hard-right politician Raffaele Fito, who is a member of the uh, Giorgia Meloni's uh, Brothers of Italy party and was also the Italian pick for that role. And there have been, um, especially the Social Democrats, that have been saying that they're against him getting such a prominent role as the vice uh, executive president of the European Commission. Uh, there have also been other issues coming up in this, in this process. And then in the end, there has been uh, some horse trading and a deal. And then this deal has been enough. It was a deal between between uh, the Conservatives, the Liberals and the Social Democrats. It has been enough to push today's vote over the line, but this deal is also uh, considered to be a bit vague and it is supposed to rule or like lay the foundation how these three parties, which call themselves the pro-European parties or are called that, uh, are, are going to work together in the future. But this, of course, will need to be seen how this plays out and it's also supposed to say how they're going to work together with the hard right and the far right. So uh, this is still a bit vague, but it was enough to get the, right. the commission over the finishing line today. And now they can uh, enter into the office at the beginning of December. Okay, Lucia, uh, thank you so much. Lucia Schulten in Strasbourg.